Today is January 30th, uh, 2015, 7.45. So I want to take a moment to talk about my weekend for Chinese New Year. Um, throughout the week, I when I was doing my one body part per week, I was uh, talking about, uh, you know, Chinese New Year. I had to lose some weight before I go to my mother-in-law. So I did not record any of the event. We have family videos, so that's pretty much private. But I took pictures of the food that I ate and the, the whole thing that uh, my mother-in-law cooked and stuff like that. So um, I will not put any pictures of the family because some of them, they know about my you know, YouTube channel and stuff. Not everybody wants to be in it. But anyway, so um, I record, uh, I took pictures of my food. So I did lose, I believe, I will tell you, let me look in my book thing. So for Chinese New Year, when I got up, I weigh, what was Chinese New Year? Chinese New Year dinner, okay. So that was on Friday, January 27th. When I got up, I weigh 128.8 pounds, right? Did I record it on my phone? I may have a clip of that when I record it. And then at 7 a.m., I drank some coffee. And throughout the day, I made sure I didn't eat too many things because I know I was going to eat some, you know, food that I don't normally eat. So around 1.30, I was starting to get really hungry. So from 7 till 1.30, I was hungry. And I ate some sprinkles and animal crackers. So as soon as after I pick up the kids from school, you know, made them change. We took the train and go. And I may have some clips here and there about that. So around 6 to 12 p.m., we were at the, my mother-in-law. We had dinner. So I have a, pl a picture of the plate, of my plate. And it, well, it had rice, some stir fry, some cabbage. Actually, I have a, uh, some here. We have, <laughs> we took some home. Uh, what is it? Pork and some vegetable stuff and things like that. My plate wasn't that big, but after I finished eat, the food was fabulous. It was good and everything. So after I finished eat, I was knocked out. I could not move. I could not do anything. <laughs> I fell asleep. So they took a, a, a blanket for me. I slept on the couch. I don't know for how long. People were talking about things. Some went out. They came back. I have no idea what was going on. So when I finally got up, I felt like throwing up. <laughs> I didn't throw up, but I felt like throwing up. This is what happens when your body's not used. Uh, well, I've eaten it before. It's just that I usually sw I switch the way I work. Uh, I eat. So my body was, I guess, somewhat rejecting it. So I really wanted to throw up. So once I got home, I weighed myself. It was at 12.42 p.m. I mean, a.m. So that was like in the middle of the night. Um, I weighed 131. Remember, in the morning, I weighed 128.8. So once I, once I came home, I was 131. So it's like three pounds or two point something pounds. <laughs> So I gained some weight. And then around 12.45 a.m., I drank some jasmine tea, you know, take a shower, brush my teeth, and go to bed. So when I got up in the morning, the following day, January 28th, I weigh myself again. I weigh 131, so I didn't lose anything throughout the night. <laughs> By the end of the day, on, on, on Saturday, uh, let me see, I drank coffee, um, I, ate, oh, I ate some cookies that we brought home. Um, you could start seeing them on my face. I break out very easily. It's just ridiculous. But sometimes I just want to enjoy uh, some some stuff. So I ate some small amount of white rice, uh, sweet sour pork. That's food we took home. I ate some, and I ate chocolate chip cookies again. My face actually after I ate it, this is what came up. Um, and at ten fifteen, we watched some movies, and I ate a pop popcorn. And at twelve twenty. I mean, 11.20, I weigh myself, I weigh 131.8, so I gained 0.8 pounds throughout that day. Sunday, I got up, 
okay this time it's not 131 um, I weigh myself at 9.49 a.m. I weigh 129.8. So the weight went down slightly. Drink coffee, eat a little bit of the same food we took from my mother-in-law around 4 or 6. At 6.56 p.m. I ate a little bit cookies. And I did not weigh myself before I went to bed. Because I was studying with my son. So, uh... I guess I lose track after that. I was tired, took a shower, and went to bed. Um, so this morning at 7.19, I weigh myself. I'm back at 131. So this is where we are now. And I drank some coffee this morning. So um, what did I do yesterday? I record. I wasn't planning on um, making the oat. Uh, I wasn't planning on making oatmeal cookies for a while. But... Lately, I find myself in the morning, I'm in a rush, you know, running back and forth and, you know, I don't have time to eat. Like this morning, I drank the coffee and that was it and took the kids to school. So I didn't eat anything. So yesterday, uh, there, I had some um, bananas that I bought last week and uh, I may have clips of either when I bought it or when I got them here. I have to look at see that's how much pile of, of videos that i have i never touch uh, so i have record uh, re you know video clips of some of those uh things that i'm talking about so i uh yesterday the bananas were starting to get really soft so when they get really soft and things like that they start becoming a little bit uh, watery and then it creates flies so I was trying to prevent having flies in the house. So I peel them. And once I peel them, I chop them up, put it in a container and store it in the fridge and then throw away the banana peel. So yesterday um, I had, not that I had time, but I just wanted, I knew I was gonna work out today. I didn't know how my morning was gonna be, um, if I will be able to eat. So I made the oatmeal cookies. Um, now I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it a separate video or I might just put it somewhere within that video this video and I made the cookies and when sometime when I make the cookies I uh, sent some to a security guard at my son's school she is diabetic and uh, last year when we did a potluck where everybody, uh, every family brings some food, um, we share, we eat together and stuff like that. So uh, I'm not, my, the, my way of cooking is, I don't think they will like it. So after talking to a friend of mine, I'm like, I don't know what to bring them. They will not eat my, my food. There's no salt in my food. There's no taste in my food. Uh, so they, I don't know what to bring. And she knows about my oatmeal cookies. So she suggested why don't I make the cookies so I made the cookies to, that's last year I made the cookies and bought to school and while we were there the security guard was walking around looking at all the food the family bring and stuff like that uh, so she was like oh man they bought all this food and I can't even eat them and I said why no oh, I'm diabetic then I go then I said, look, I, I, I told her, I'm not a doctor, but uh, I made some cookies. <laughs> I didn't put any sugar in it. All the sweetness come from the banana that I made it with. Uh, you could try it. And another thing, the school doesn't want people to bring things with nuts. So there's a lot of kids who's allergic to nuts. So I didn't put all, any of that. And um, I said, you could try it if you see how it goes but eat at your own risk so she ate it and then i was a couple of days later i uh, saw her and i said how was the cookie did you eat it then did it affect your blood sugar and your glucose level and all this stuff she said no well i'm fine i it didn't affect me at all and i think uh i'm not sure if she was anyway let me leave it because i don't know um i was thinking of something but i don't want to say the wrong thing so every time when I make oatmeal cookies, before I put my supplements in it, creatine, BCA, protein, and things like that, sometimes glutamine, um, 
I ran out of glue man, so I didn't put on the one yesterday. So usually when I make my cookies, before I put all the supplements in it, I'll take some and bake separately for her. So I did that yesterday. So this morning, I uh, sent my son to school with the cookies for her, and I put a little note, and I completely forgot. I put pistachios in it. So I put a note, and I told her in the note not to open in the school, wait until you get to at home because I have pistachio in it. So, and I, did I, I don't think I told her what's in it. Oh, well, she knows what's usually in it, but uh, I put chia seed. This is what I did. Uh, banana, chia seed, uh, vanilla extra, um, what is it? Cinnamon and, what is it, cream of tartar and that's for the base ingredient okay and then the oatmeal i grind some i think i record a little bit where i'm grinding the regular oats to make it into a powder because if i put the regular oats in the you know it's not gonna stick it's not gonna be sturdy i will not have that uh dough uh consistency so i have to grind it to make it into a powder to um to be able to do that and then once I finish grind a couple of oats um, you know I put in a regular the container that I usually store it in and my regular blender broke the bigger one broke um, I still haven't buy any um, I use my magic bullet and I uh, blend the bananas so I had some what is it apples and peaches that were sitting here the kids were not eating it i peel it and throw it in there too it's, it's they're all natural so um that uh cookies had apple peach and banana mostly banana and once i grind it in the uh what do you call this the magic bullet sometimes i grind uh, i do it manually but i decided to do it with the magic bullet and while i i was uh use, grinding it on the in the magic bullet uh, thing I put some of uh, the ingredients uh, cinnamon and uh, what was the other thing that I put in there cream of tartar and vanilla extra so it already so it could mix it will blend together uh, much better than just me stirring it so I did that and then I put uh, uh, pistachio uh, raisins to add a little bit more sweetness in it and uh, I once I think that was the base once I did that I took I think it was 12 I made 12 separate cookies for her and I put it completely separate from mine so I don't co get myself confused I don't send the one with the supplement even though the supplements might be good for her but I do not want to mess with somebody's uh, health I don't, I'm not a doctor, I don't have major uh, uh, knowledge into all of this, so I don't know if it will be good for her. So I did not put that in it for her. So once I finished, took her portion out, I put it in a complete separate, different uh, uh, visual look uh, uh, pen, and I put my supplements, creatine, BCA, and protein and I put mine in a flat sheet uh, baking um, pan so yeah that was my weekend and what else and that's pretty much it and I just did a video before explaining my workout today so you guys could check this video out and I'll put today's date on the workout um, and I probably will put the date on this video also so you guys could uh, know that they are somewhat the same day pretty much so you're probably gonna see this video in 50,000 years I don't know when I'm gonna edit it but I just wanted to uh, talk about that and now I'm starting to get a bit hungry maybe should I put it in this video should I start uh, before I left this morning I made some rice it's cooking here it's hot this is my last week miss vegetable so I'm gonna warm that up I'm gonna eat that yep it's still good See, this is the vegetable, the mixed vegetables I usually like to buy. So I'm gonna have that with rice, and I think I have some uh, 
avocado. I probably will make sure I finish the avocado today because it's very soft. And I'm gonna put some uh, ground meat. Not too much. I need to cover it. This is an old, uh, uh, I guess, plate that I had on my old, uh, how do you call this? Uh, microwave. So I keep it to, to cover um, things when I'm warming up food. So that's that. Let me get the avocado. This is very soft. I hope it's still good. I mean, I hope it's not uh, really spoiled. So I'm gonna eat half of it. Let's see how it is. I wanna make sure the side that's really soft to be on one side. I probably will make sure I finish it today that way. Yep, it's perfect, but it's very soft. If I leave it another day, it's not gonna be good. Okay, there it is. And I'm gonna add cayenne pepper. I usually put that on my portions only because I don't want the kids, if they want to eat it, if I have my cayenne pepper, and then they will taste it. So I usually put cayenne pepper on my portion only. So that's that. I did eat, um, on oatmeal cookies on my way to the supermarket. No, not one. I ate two because I was kind of hungry. So what I normally do is cover it with the other half and take, I'll do that in a few, and then take a uh, aluminum foil, cover it. Uh, these are some of the things. This is cabbage my mother-in-law made with a uh, spoon or fork. It's really good and I'm gonna have that with some rice and I have to make sure I eat a small amount of rice otherwise my weight at the end of the today will be that's all I'm eating for rice this is about maybe 3.2 ounce so yeah that's my food and I'm gonna take a picture of it and probably put it on Instagram and talk a little bit about my today's workout and there it is all right so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like and share. Bye.